Also new here at 5 o'clock, 15 years after California's high-speed rail project was endorsed by voters here in the Golden State, a milestone of sorts tonight as the rail authority comes to Kern County to receive public input on Bakersfield's bullet train station. An open house is getting underway as we speak, just a stone's throw away from where that train station will be built. And 17's Rob Hagan is standing by live tonight with a report from Westchester Hall on F Street. Rob, good evening. Jim, good evening. As you can see, the community is absolutely buzzing tonight at the open house for the highly anticipated, highly expensive, highly contentious high-speed rail projected to transport 6.6 .6 million passengers annually. Now you can see people are looking at the project-wide designs right now. There are also designs of the Bakersfield Station as well as designs of the canopy. Now it'll be the first piece of high-speed track operating between Merced at Bakersfield ending at Highway 204 and F Street. It's projected to be 24 to 35 billion to complete phase one, the 171 mile long line segment, 220 mile per hour electric train. Now the next phase links Bakersfield to Palmdale, but before we get to that, I did see when the next meeting will be. It's tomorrow from 5 to 7 p.m. at Hanford, then in downtown Fresno, and then in Merced after that, all 5 to 7. Now, they're seeking feedback from the public on the design. They're seeking feedback from the American Disabilities Association, from local law enforcement, from the Downtown Business Association, and, of course, from the public. Now, I spoke with one person on site. She'd like to know how much it would cost to ride the train and, more importantly, how much the projected cost is to the taxpayer. I did speak with the director of planning. She said that this first segment is projected to take six years to complete. That should be 2030. And she's looking for feedback on how much this is going to boost the local economy here. She did say 119 miles of this track are already in construction. 22 miles are already completed. And the deadline is 2030. I did ask the planning director how much that ticket would be. She said they're going to try to stick with the current trend, which is about 35 bucks. But as of to the cost of the taxpayer... That may still be years out. That's all the info I have for now. Rob Hagan live in downtown. The presentation starts at 515. You still have till 7 p.m. to get down here and share your two cents. Jim, back to you.